Hi there, I'm Teaspoon, and this is Taspoon, the series where I pioneer my own path progressing an old school RuneScape Iron Man account. The goal? To complete the collection log. The catch? I have to do it one randomly generated task at a time. Welcome to Taspoon. Hello everyone, and uh, welcome to the first episode of my new series. I've always loved the snowflake restricted Iron Man account progress videos from other YouTubers, and it's been something I've been meaning to do for a long time now, I just never really knew what I wanted to do. And my problem is that I'm not really clever enough to come up with my own sort of snowflake Iron Man account style, so that's the main reason that I never really ended up doing it. But the other day, as I was thinking about all this, uh, I was going to watch a YouTube video myself, and I saw Tedious's new Task Iron Man video, and I realized that that's kind of exactly what I need. A way that I can play the game in a restricted Snowflake Iron Man style, but without the need to be creative coming up with goals, because you just press the Generate Task button and it tells you what to do. So, that's what it is. I will be playing on an account with an objective to complete as much or all of the collection log, and I will have to do it one task at a time, randomly generated by Tedious's spreadsheet program. And although, yes, I am directly copying Tedious's idea, uh, he released the spreadsheet for other people to copy and use, and he's always encouraged people to play an account of the same style, so... I'm just excited to get to do stuff that I wouldn't normally do in the game, even though I have played thousands of hours on a main or an Iron Man or on leagues, there's still just a lot of content that I haven't got to experience. Even stranger is the order in which it'll make me do things. I am recording this after a fair amount of hours of gameplay, so I kind of already know what happens. I did not expect to take over 20 hours to edit this video, but delay no more, let's just get right into it. But not quite yet. First we gotta go over the rules. But that part's kind of boring, so we're just going to do it really, really quickly. This is the spreadsheet that we're going to use. You press the Generate Task button, it gives you a task. Tasks are split up into easy, medium, hard, and elite tasks. We're going to do all the easies, then all the mediums, then all the hards, then all the elites. There's other tabs here, like passive, pets, and extra, that we can complete while we're doing the other tasks, but it won't give us those tasks until we're done all the other tasks. There's three other rules to the account. One, you must be working towards your task at all times. If you happen to partially or fully complete other tasks during that, that's okay. For example, if I need to train runecrafting for a task and I go to Guardians of the Rift and I get a Guardians of the Rift unique or a pet, that's totally fine. That wasn't my objective, just so happened to complete it. Number two, no help from any other accounts within reason. Uh, I say within reason because when I go to do raids or TOB, I might try and convince my friends to do it with me. Uh, I hopefully won't be getting carried, but we'll see. And number three, just have fun. That's what I'm here for. Just trying to have fun playing the game. So now that that's all over with, let's get started. First things first, these are all the easy tasks that I could potentially get right away. There's a lot of stuff in here that's actually quite annoying to do on a fresh account. So I'm kind of hoping for something that's not too bad, but still a fun challenge. So yeah. Time to press the button. So I'm going to come clean. Uh, this isn't live audio. I had a little bit of difficulty, as you can see, generating the task, coming up with some sort of authorization error. Because, you know, why would anything work the first time? But I ended up getting it fixed and getting my task generated, which was a beginner wand. Yay. The beginner wand was actually an interesting puzzle to solve. How do you get a beginner wand on an account with no stats, no money, no runes, no nothing? I need to get a minimum of 33 magic for telekinetic grab. I need enough money to buy all the runes to use in the mage training arena. Which alone I'll need at least 70 law runes, 80 cosmic runes, and I don't even know how many nature runes. Actually playing the minigame after I get all the runes isn't that difficult, but we've got a long journey ahead of us. As a short disclaimer, a lot of the clips at the beginning of this video are going to be pre-recorded clips and post-commentary. Uh, my mic wasn't really set up properly on my recording software, so I don't really like the audio in the clips, and uh, just so much happens. I'm just trying to get through it. 
This one video is probably like four hours of footage, so here I am, wind striking goblins, ran out of wind strikes, ran all the way over to Bar Village because I was planning on getting the 10k from the Stronghold of Security, where I quickly realized that I do still have my hardcore status. I don't really care about it, but I'd like to keep it for as long as possible. I also realized that I don't have membership, which I will need for the next step of the plan. So I took the quick run, and by run I mean very slow walk, all the way over to Varrock. Bought myself some membership, and found the nearest woman to steal her life savings. Three coins at a time. The main reason that I did that was to get five thieving, so I can go over and steal from the tea stalls to get myself an inventory of food, so that when I go through the stronghold security, I'm not at risk of dying in every door. Once I had acquired about 20 cups of tea, like any self-respecting British person would, made my way to the back to the stronghold of security, made it through the first floor no problem, went to get my 2.5k, and I remembered that I haven't actually set up my authenticator yet. One quick account security measure taken later, and we were on our way. The rest of the floors were no problem, especially when I didn't almost get one shot by a red spider. One quick staff purchase and trip to the rune shop later, and we were ready to get training. I also decided to buy a priest gown. I just felt so naked. Much better. I was on my way to test out a moneymaker that someone suggested to me when I got a random event. Uh, I actually need to do these for the collection log pieces, so yeah. Of course I forgot to record the pop-up, but... I decided the most consistent way to make money was to go over to Artie, steal some cakes to train my thieving up to level 20, and then steal silk from the silk stall. The other reason that I want to train my thieving is, once I get to 28, I can steal from these nature rune chests, which have a 100% chance to give one nature rune about a 10 second recharge. I figured that'd be a good way to get my nature runes from a training arena, and just to make some money. Nice. Oh hey, 28th evening. I went to see how many nature runes I could get from the chest while I waited the 20 minutes for the silk merchant to stop being mad at you for stealing from his stalls. Ended up being about 80 in 20 minutes, which isn't too bad. And after selling all the silk, got about 18,000 coins. Definitely not a bad start. I then watched a TV show for about an hour while I stole more nature runes and went to bed. But not before I got this beekeeper random. Something about that collection log pop-up is just so satisfying. And with my newfound riches and piles of nature runes, decided to go to the Mage Arena Bank to buy some runes. Decided to use these casts at the Wizard's Tower on the Lesser Demon. Uh, fun fact, this Lesser Demon has level 1 magic and negative 10 magic defense, so it's very easy to hit. 
And that's it. 33 magic. We did it. We've made it to the Mage Training Arena. I'm going to get this hat and start working on some of these points. I think I'm going to start with the telekinetic room. Uh, no real reason, but I think this is probably the most boring one and figure I'll get it out of the way the first while I have some energy. And here it is, the last cast. I literally had the exact right amount of runes, so my math was perfect. Uh, I'll get 10 back, which will be nice to actually have some teleports. Uh, but yeah, 36 points, and uh, yeah, that's one of the four rooms down. I think next I'm going to do the Enchanter's Room. Uh, no real reason between the two. Uh, there is a reason I'm saving the Graveyard one for last, but I'll go over that when I get there. Oh. I'm already at 300 points. Wow, that was incredibly fast. Uh, I'm going to move on to the alchemy room now. One thing that I learned is that the low-level alchemy actually gives the same amount of coins in this uh, minigame as the high-level alchemy does, so this is actually not going to take very long at all either. And with that, we have the 3,000 coins. Should be 30 points here. Beautiful, and 39 magic. Nice. Uh, so we got one room left. Graveyard room. This one might be a bit harder because I'm low health. I'm going to go grab some cakes. And yeah, it shouldn't take too long at all though. And here's what I'll be doing for the last 30 points. Um, it's a little scary because like I said, I'm pretty low health. And uh, I don't have good food. And bananas kind of suck. Usually you just eat the, the peaches when you have bones peaches. But... Um, as you can see, I'm kind of getting roasted and toasted here, but I only need 30 points. Uh, hopefully, yeah, hopefully it's not too bad. I managed to get 24 points in the first run, which is uh, almost all the way there, but it'd be kind of lame to die in the graveyard room of the Mage Training Arena to lose my hardcore, so I'm uh, going to go get a few more cakes and finish it off, and we're almost done. Hey, and on our way back, another random event. And another collection log pop-up. Hell yeah. Here we go. Last graveyard room points. Put those in there. Should be up to 30. Perfect. And that's it. We're done. We did it. <clears throat> First task. And all that's left is to actually buy the wand. There it is. Confirm. Collection log pop-up, beginner wand, I can't even wear it yet. But of course, it's not actually complete until we press the button, so here we go, first time on the series. Hell yeah, didn't even get 1%. And of course, the next step will be uh, generating the next task, let's do it right now. See what we have to do, get a cockatrice head. What the f- 